Hey everyone, Jim D. Graham with rcgroups.com, not rcgroups.com, but rcgroups.com, and we're here with Jason Cole in the laboratory. What's going on, Jason? <laughs> What's up? Happy Thursday. Hey, uh, check this out, everyone. Jason Cole and I decided summer was here, and we went out to the field, <laughs> flew airplanes, took pictures. We we talked to modelers for a long time about uh, health insurance. It was a well-rounded outing, uh, don't you think? Yeah, it was nostalgic. I didn't need a winter coat. It was amazing. I had a great time. If you've noticed someone else in the broadcast today, it is Hank from the Toledo Swap and Expo. How you doing, what, Jim? How you doing, Jason? What's thanks up? for taking time out. I know that you're a busy guy out there doing good stuff for people. And uh, I just thought it would be awesome for all of our listeners and viewers to find out how the Toledo trade uh, show, or it's not the trade show, <laughs> Toledo Swap right. Meet and Expo went this year talk about vendors talk about what happened there and all that good stuff well hey i appreciate the forum um you know this this was another we call each year a crucial year we're just looking for sustainability which means it doesn't necessarily have to be profitable but we have to be able to afford the next year because as soon as this event's over we owe seagate five grand well okay. excuse me glass city center five thousand bucks for the following year so i'm happy to report this is our largest year ever we had almost a 20 percent increase in paid attendance uh, overall commercial vendors, and of course, swap tables. So put a number on it. You're looking at, uh, we had paid attendance right around 2,400 people. Um, we figure the total amount of people, when you include those that had swap tables and those that were commercial vendors, just under 3,000. Uh, we're right at seven, just over 700 tables and or booths. So it was absolutely a huge event this year. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, this was the first year that it felt like something really, really, really special. And I say that all the time, but Something happened really organic this year that I don't know if I wanted it to happen, but it did. And, you know, there's nothing more humbling than when the people start tossing around what they do and what they don't like about this event compared to, of course, the 63 year run of the Week Singles Expo, which is the greatest show on earth, as we've talked about many times. And I started hearing that this year. And at first I thought, oh, I got to put these, this down. But you know what? I'm done putting it down. I got to go with it because. I mean, in those that went to the event, I actually paid some homage to the Week Signals Expo. I did my raffle booth in red, white, and blue because that's what the Week Signals used to do. I loved, mm -hmm. I loved the tricolor booths, and I can't afford it for all of them. But I thought, you know what? Let's 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 do a little throwback, and that's exactly what I did. And it actually, it was humbling, but it also was very special to be mentioned. You know that hey, this could become something like. And uh, it took me a while to get used to that because it started happening, like I said, very organic. But I'll take it. And I'm sure the biggest the biggest difference between this year and last year, besides sheer number, was the static models. Um, this year, we did put a little focus on the static model contest, and we got some beautiful models, which just let, gives us something we can advertise next year. Let me pause you right there. We have a, a guest, another guest on, adding Mean Joe Vermillion, who was at the show. Hey, guys. Show. How are you doing? How you doing, Joe? Good. Good. What's up, Andrew? How you been? Man, hey, thanks for coming to the show. I appreciate that. Of course. Had a blast. I thought we, I thought we should jump into uh, the photos of the show while you're talking about it, the static and all that. Um, would you like to watch the video first? Do you think the video would give everyone a good taste of what the show actually is? Well, I'm, I was pretty excited about that video because it dropped today about 20 minutes before I sent it to you. So you know, it just gives you a good view. Uh, you know, that's fine with me. I've seen it about 400 times already. I can't <laughs> stop looking just because it's pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, so uh, how many times have we loaded into this area, Jason? Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Very well, familiar. That's the cool thing, man, because this is throwback to, you know, the Week Signal show. Uh, and I think that's what I really, I really, I really like that. Wow, uh, you know, it that. does. It, like, there was, there was over 400 swap tables this year, which is just unbelievable if you think about it. Um, you know, the walls have to come out next year. We were busting at the seams this year. The fire marshal didn't like some of my table placements on Saturday morning, but you know, it happens. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, and it's, it was, you know, it was really, it was also nice. Uh, you know, there were, it was a, a decent amount of the week signal club members stopped by and I got to see some old friends that I haven't seen in a while. Grace Carl. Yeah, that, that was, was actually pretty cool. That's, <laughs> that was running during the show. So that is literally what it looks like. It's a racetrack and the, you could, you drive the cars with wheels uh, the guy that set this up, you know, he's trying to sell it, but he does this at like fairs and other events. Yeah, it was fantastic. Awesome. Yeah, Very it was cool. pretty sweet. 
And these are the the swap meet booths we're looking at here. Yeah, that's the swap there. table. And then, you know, then we come into the what what would be considered the commercial vendor area. You know, okay. I'm very traditional in that. I like the curtain area. And I think my vendors do too. But the vendors are actually the, the 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 blood of this event. We need the commercial vendors. They have to be here with us. And you know, we're so excited to see vendors like Dubrow this year, Balsa USA. You know, Buddy RC, of course, AJ Aircraft. Yeah. Uh, and like I said, you know, there's already some guys have contacted me about next year. Uh, so it, it just, it was really, it had a good look, a good feel. And anywhere you put over 2,000 modelers in one area, how can you go wrong? This is serious business. This looks like a lot of prep yeah. and getting it going. Like I said, my number one committee fan, my wife, we spent a lot of time talking about this. And there are two other partners that I work with, but the actual the actual grunt work as I'm pretty much responsible for. And I, I do the best I can. And in year four, I finally think I figured some things out. Uh, you know, as you fly through the video, if you see the raffle booth again, I love the red, white, and blue, like I told you earlier. You know, that's my homage to the week signals uh, because uh, I love it. those yeah. booths. Like Red Baird Hobbies is back. You saw them. And I hate, there I'm, now I'm saying back. You know, this is only the fourth year of this event, but I guess, you know, you got to talk about it as there's something going on in Toledo that's good for all of us. You know, I've been asked multiple times, is it possible to do a trade show or something like this somewhere else? And I got to be honest, I don't think so. I think it has to be in Toledo because that's what we're used to. You know, that's what a lot of us grew up with and our kids and our fathers. And I think it needs to stay right there. I just hope that I hope that the, you know, the, the convention center understands that and they keep working. You know, we're we're we we'll keep working on the pricing. You know, right now we're good because I, I don't really want to raise prices for anybody. You know, I, we are a for profit organization, but I can promise you, you know, this year we were thrilled. We paid for our hotel rooms and food. and It was like we hit the lottery, man. <laughs> Awesome. Well, this video does a freaking fantastic job of showing it off, man. It looks really awesome. does. It did a really was, good job of that video. It's excellent. I was I actually what he really was, surprised by it. I didn't I realize he was how big flying. It uh, he a little whoop drone. I, I don't know which one he had a GoPro on it. And again, I don't know which one. I met him that morning at 6 a.m. Saturday morning. Um, that's my nice trailer, though. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> Good yeah, work. Well done. Well done job on the video. The video is awesome. Yeah, well, I hate to tell you guys this, but you're going to see a lot of that video because that's how I go for what I call commercial vendor fishing. Um, <laughs> ah, right. Heck yeah. Well, you can, oh, add, you can add one to next year already. I'm not going to lie. I already, I already stole that from you. I have big plans for you. And I'm glad because you know what? We need we need something like Legend Hobbies there. Uh, and the thing is, I'm sure, Joe, you were there. These people are coming to buy stuff. They um, are definitely. They want it, to buy. There's not so, yeah. So first off, Hank, I want to I want to say you've done a fantastic job. You and the team have done excellent work. And, uh, you know, I hate to say the resurgence of Toledo, but really it kind of is uh, to start where you guys were and to get this going like you were. Uh, people missed it. I can tell you myself and I know Jim T did the same thing during Toledo. We had the Toledo uh the week, the digital week, because during COVID, right. everything got shut down and all that kind of stuff. All and right. I will promise you, people really miss this show. And what you've done with it is, is it's amazing. It's, it's nearly back to what it was. It really is. It's getting there quickly. Uh, and as long as the vendors keep showing up, man, I, I think you got something coming here. I think before long, it, it's going to be like it never left. Excellent, and that, excellent job. Yeah. And, and I was saying earlier, before you hopped on, Joe, I'm, I'm done trying to make separation you know in the beginning i felt i had to because you know i'm not trying to step on anybody's toes but it's exactly what you said what do we do in april i can tell you guys right now man if, if the week signal still have their show i have my 50 swap tables upstairs and that's what i'd be doing i walk the floor on saturdays if my dad were still around that's what we do saturday yeah uh, but it this is the year i mean it, it is it, it you can't really deny that yes of course it's taking shape and it looks a lot like the weak singles, but it has to because that's what it is. I mean, you have vendors, you have swappers, you have beautiful static airplanes that I could never build. I mean, that's the key that works. You know, yep. things look different. You know, we have round tables. Why are they round? Because they cost me zero. You know, I was I was deciding should we spend seventeen dollars per table to put a tablecloth on those? Thank God I did because it looks fantastic. You know, and I was fretting. Are we going to have any static models? And we did. We have enough now where I can go out. And shop I mean, I'm spending a week over in Muncie, Indiana at the Nationals. Why? I got to tell them about the static mount contest this year. You know, this is definitely grassroots. It's word of mouth. Um, things like this, uh, you know, that video, the Facebook group is just blown up. That's what people need to see. And it's okay. It's okay. I think now I'm, I'm okay with it. And I think other people are okay that, hey, listen, there's nothing wrong that this is 
I don't want to say the resurgence, but it's it's something going on. It is, you know, because I, I can never we, you know, the hobby has changed. We all know that things have changed. However, what makes this hobby great? Vendors, swappers, and what you look at, and that friends, that family. I mean, Friday night, guys, I went over to the restaurant and had my, you know, at the hotel. We had 150 rooms at the hotel this year. Uh, we went from 47 last year, 150 wow. on yeah. Friday night. You know, but you go down to the bar and there's everybody sitting there that you were just hanging with. And that's what I love. Like, that's all part of it, man. And it's just nice to see back. And Saturday, there it is again. You know, I can't tell you how important the AMA has been to us because they've they've helped us in some areas that, you know, we were struggling in. And that's what it is. We're, we're trying to just get through this. I don't know what we're doing. You know, we're doing it as we go. But I think we're starting to figure things out. Yeah. And then one of the things that I, that I can key off from being a consumer, you know, slash vendor is that uh it's like i said before it's nearly back to what it was but i like the mix because don't think that toledo rc expo is just a swap me it is not just a swap me there are vendors there are cool things you know i had somebody on there uh on the facebook group the other day asking why weren't there cars i'm like were you not looking there were cars everywhere yeah we had giant scale semi trucks driving down the oh. aisles with kids sitting on top of for goodness sakes so all that stuff is there and and 2025 this is something you need to put back on your list if it's not already there because it is it's really back to where it was in my mind yeah it's really I, doing I a great job that. And number wise it, it isn't there but i can tell you the feeling is there because you know you go you go to this show to feel good about everything uh you know those big scale trucks it was funny that's big scale truck rc on Saturday, about one o'clock, I'm like, why aren't I letting these guys drive around the arena? We paid for it. Let's drive. I go up to them and they're like, why didn't you ask them? Like, I didn't know I had to. So, you know, and then they <laughs> just took them out and we got plans with them next year. You know, they're going to be advertised as, as they drive. You know, there's that. Awesome. I love, I love Zap. And it was funny. I talked to them. I'm like, hey, you're going to bring back Robart. And they're like, well, you know, we're probably not going to do a Robart booth this year. And then, of course, the announcement came. I said, ah, I got That's it. That's why. <laughs> yeah. But, you yeah. know, you saw B&B Specialties. They've been with us for four years. Cal Air. You know, Cal Orr is there with Cal Air. That's good old school stuff. But I'm telling you right now, and this is the one thing. I had my wife track the static models. And you'll see there are some beautiful models like that B-17. But then on the other end of the table, you have some other models. Most of those were mine. The Crazy 4 ED, uh, 70 millimeter EDF Lazy B, the Swoosh. Those were mine. Why did I bring them? Because I want people to know anybody can put anything on those tables. You know, yes, we had the static model judging. But we didn't just have to have that. You know, there's my throwback with the three. I love that picture. Right, right, I, right. I just love it. So I'm real and, excited uh, about static models. People love the static models. They love them. They, they and, it, and the owners who had them there, they stand with them. And I'm like, man, this is how it was. I remember as a kid, you know, I heard how I heard a lot of the grumblings, how the dragon won that year. I'm sure you guys all remember. The <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> and it made, oh, yeah. it made me laugh. I'm like, <laughs> wow, I, I think it's OK. We bring this stuff up. But, yeah. you know, the other thing is I love seeing some of these pictures because it looks full. That place is big. It's a big place. It was packed. Wow. It, I mean, it was packed <laughs> there, now side that's to side. It was loaded. That's, that's my 10-foot uh, four. Oh, wow. I see the Dr. Fans. Lazy Bee with lights. That was my night nice. flight. Yeah. Why? Because it can be. And right behind it, you'll see my AJ Aircraft uh, two, 200. And that's how we advertise at 3D events. I got yeah, a why? Because pilot. you can. That's sweet. <laughs> yeah, because but I want everybody to know that. And you know what happened? There were a couple people putting little things on there. There'll be more next year. I guarantee. I can't wait for stack next year. There you this go. This guy, that's Bob Dormer out of Carolina. Came up from Carolina with his glider. You want to hear something wild, real quick about that? We did do try to do a people's choice. It wasn't as successful as I wanted to because people, I think, just wanted to see the models. They weren't really interested in voting. But that glider had eighty percent of the people's choice vote. A oh, glider. Wow. Wow, nice. that's I couldn't believe it because it beat my lazy bee. But <laughs> I mean, if you think about yeah, it, right? how, how cool is that though? And it was a fantastic glider, but I would have never thought eighty yeah. percent. Yeah, it's no Tucton fan lazy bee. Yeah, I mean, right. come on, right? It sounds like it should be going one hundred and ninety. It's going about forty six, right above stall speed, yeah. but it's cool looking. <laughs> yeah, that thing's awesome. Love it. And I hope, and that's the thing. You know, we have to drum up static display business but if you look at the pictures there's enough static this year it's gonna be easy for me to do pictures don't lie and that's why that video you know for the first run of a promo video that that kid hit it out of the park as far as i'm concerned you know and and we need that we need people to see that it is and and it is not just a swap me although i'm a swapper first mm -hmm. you know it, we need we need the commercial vendors yes sir agreed 
So, and I'm excited. Just so you, like I told you, Joe, we're going to be talking about, you know, possible donation because I need that too. You know, the, the, the vendors are so gracious in their donations for raffles. Stuff just keeps showing up. I try to advertise everything ahead of time, but I, I don't have time to. Stuff just keeps showing up. Now, there was a mess. I had no idea that many guys had trailers. And so our idea was to park them <laughs> in the back room. That worked out great till about, oh, I don't know, 10 a.m. Thursday morning. And right. then all of a sudden. But these guys, you know, because we used to we fly back there, and I was worried about that. But when you have world class pilots flying, they could fly inside sure, yeah. the trailer. No, we used to I, fly yeah. inside that bar until they uh, banned no, it you one did, year. For real? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I did yeah. not know that. We yes, flew they... out of the bar into the lobby, and uh, then the I next didn't like year that. they were like, "That's oh, over." Maybe we'll try that next year. I didn't like that. <laughs> I don't recommend it. They don't like that. It was that, it, you know what it was, Hank? It was about that time we were in there. I can remember do, clearly doing it. It was about all that time, all that heat was coming from the drones. And oh, they yeah. Didn't, they I didn't remember. like that at all. Well, you know, you um, got to try some new things. Just tell them. Yeah. And if anyone from the old days is watching, if you remember uh, Norm, the bartender, for all uh, those years, yep. if you if you got him just right, he would load a Jack Daniels whiskey bottle with a little whiskey in the bottom. And then he put a straw in there. I don't even know how he did it. Then he had like the, some sort of a napkin and he'd light it and drop it. And the, the whiskey fumes would create a rocket and the straw would shoot to the ceiling and stick into it. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I don't think we're going to see that anymore. Yeah, probably not a good I idea. Think, but it would be awesome. It'd be sweet. I bet I have a video somewhere. I'll dig That's it up one crazy. day. You should get him to do that and then have this kid fly the drone around it. That'd be sweet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah, I, I like. I'd like to do more with the drone. Uh, the guy who did that for us, and he he's got a company. He's just a young young kid. I was shocked how young he is. That or I'm getting old. I don't know which or both. Might be both. You know, Everybody and then we are gonna. Now. You know, the 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 car scene. That post on Facebook, Joe, really it bothered me. I'm not gonna lie, because I was like you. But you know, we I am I have approached. I love when people give me new vendors to approach. What people have to understand is I've approached every vendor I know, not once, not twice. I I'm sure Horizon Hobbies has my picture somewhere. With a big red circle around us, the line. But I'm hoping this year, because this year I've decided a new approach with Horizon Hobby. Horizon Hobby, if you're listening, I'm coming out. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to talk to them face to face. Say, listen, you know, okay. I, I I don't even care what capacity. We just the the one. I'm not I'm not going to lie to you. Everybody asks about Horizon Hobby. Yeah. And it's almost like that's the that's the uh, that's the straw that makes everything crumble. So, you know, I, I would love to see Horizon come, but the difference this year is Horizon is more than welcome to sell. You know, I know they're selling down at Joan All. This is a selling event. Sell away. Uh, there nice. you see AJ Aircraft. Man, if Tim and Linda Jesse, you talk about two wonderful people in our hobby. Uh, I think one of my favorite parts this year was going up and picking up the Raven they donated and talking to Tim for an hour, you know, off camera <laughs> on the side about life in general and hearing his stories. What an amazing person. You know, and then they make Andrew come up from down south. That that makes you feel good because I'm sure Andrew has a lot going on in life. Yeah. But there he is to support the show, too, because my right. guess is Andrew remembers that as a kid also. Sure. Yeah. Not a oh, kid yeah. no more either. It's a family tradition for all of them. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Now we just got to work on getting things younger. You know, next year we're yep. going to have a twist for the younger kids. I don't know what it is yet, but we have to because we had the kids there. I had a, a hundred giveaways. Uh, they were given away by 9.13 Friday. 13 minutes into the show, all 100 kid giveaways were gone. So what does that tell oh, you? Wow. Yeah. Right. And I did it because I wanted to track how many kids we have. But, you know, I know the AMA does some things, and we're going to work with them. We're, we're going to get better at this. Uh, yeah, but so I one, think one thing that I don't know if you guys noticed or not, it, it, those of you that weren't there, that race car track that's in the video. So that is – you actually go and you drive it and they have it set up with driving stations. So you drive it with a steering wheel. There's actually a no steering way. wheel station and you drive the cars yeah, look, with a steering right, wheel. Yep. You're right, there. right there. You're standing off to the side. See those, those boxes right there are steering wheel boxes and each one wow. of those is connected to the car and That's you have crazy. your gas pedal and your, your steering wheel and you drive the cars around the track. And, the, and if you look down in the center of that track, those are demolition derby cars. So when they hit, parts fall off oh, and, love and it. We, didn't, we didn't do that because I'm, we got a some of the swappers were a little it was a little loud over there so we got to watch right. what age of people we put near the racetrack um but it was a huge hit man uh and like i said he's trying to sell it um you know that's why i let him set it up but you know the the thing was people get to run on it so it, it's it's awesome that but there were cool. so many cars trucks boats in the swap area and we did have one boat vendor at the last minute uh he couldn't quite make it Hopefully they'll come back next year. 
Um, but the cool thing up front, I mean, I have, there are some booth spaces that I can sell, um, but we're to the point now where we're almost where we, we we're going to have to take that wall down, which is cool, you know, yeah. and just keep moving back. The swappers are going to stay downstairs till we can't, uh, cause I'm getting old and it's hard for me to get upstairs. So we got to stay down there. <laughs> you know, you didn't track your Fill steps back in our day, Jason, but how many oh, steps gosh. must we have taken on that floor trying to, we took pictures of every dang thing that was not moving. Yeah. My first year, I had a pedometer on my phone. I did 11.1 miles on Wednesday before the show started. Wow. Uh, and so, you know, I'm a big boy anyway, but uh, a couple years ago, I got into a car accident. So last year, I had to use a mobility scooter. And I can walk fine now, but I kept the scooter because, it's, you know, late in the day, it's okay for me because I'm going like you guys all over. Right. I got to get better at that. I'm, I try to, I'm not a micro, I am a kind of a micromanager. But, you know, everybody comes to you, and I just want everybody to be happy. But I think that personal emotional emotional touch is cool, too. You Like, sure, I talk sure. to every vendor every day. And whether there's 53 this year or 100 next year, I'm going to talk to everybody every day because I want them to know we appreciate them. Right. We truly do. So and just here's as some a of their stories. Just as a reference, so you're talking about it, that is my ring count for Saturday. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so that's just me driving to Toledo. And then all of that was walking oh, wow. around the show. So if yeah. that's how you gauge whether or not there's a lot to see, there's a lot to see. And, you know, the crowd Saturday, you know, even, I mean, I remember as a swapper, we had to get our stuff sold by Saturday noon because, you know, right, it starts right. slowing down. For whatever reason, Saturday's crowd just, they lingered around, you know, they, and which is cool. We're even, we're even considering we're going to, we're going to talk to our vendors, you know, should we increase the hour Saturday maybe till five o'clock because our attendance is lower on Saturday, which was the trend with the week singles do, but because you're only getting a show till two, you know, the vendors are open till two and then the auction, there is nothing I like more than go till five o'clock, have dinner, come back for the auction. Like it used to be because auction and alcohol make much more money for everybody. So uh, speaking, yeah. speaking from a vendor, um, that wouldn't, I don't think be a bad idea. I think, uh, I think a lot of the guys would hang out for that for sure. Well, and that's, you know, and that's, I, I'm literally going to, we'll send out, I'm doing personal emails to every vendor. You know, I have a block like we did here, how many came, blah, blah, blah. But then I, I'm personalizing. And one of my questions is just that, because if, if the need is there, I'm all for it. I was there till nine o'clock anyway. It doesn't matter to me. I stayed till Sunday just because I got to get some breathe time, you know? And uh, so I'd love that. And if that, if that'll get us more people to the door, give more people a chance because we forget Friday's still a work day, you know? Um, and then people people are asking about a three day three day event. So let's let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. <laughs> right, right. You know what I mean. Let's just be happy what we got. But it was. I mean, the comments this year were so positive everywhere. Um, I love it. I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel too that I'm doing something for the hobby that I found something that I can give back because this hobby has given me so much over the years, and I've helped hundreds of people fly, and I've started kid groups and youth groups flying. But you know what? This is something on a whole different level. Um, I never imagined I'd be here, but I'm cool with it. I like it. You know, I got some good, strong people around, around me. I got to get some more. You know, we're going to have to increase our support staff because we pay them so much. Um, but but uh, it's cool. I, yeah, my wife just coughed in the background. Um, <laughs> That's I told, good. Her she, I told her she didn't have to pay for the hotel room this year. What more does she want? You know, so. It's, well, it's she great. is your IT person, so. Uh, IT, marketing. Good rate. Yeah, and I do. Boss, I mean, I you gotta say boss. boss. You get in trouble if you don't say boss. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> she knows that. I don't want. I don't make it too rough on me tonight. So, well, I appreciate you guys. You know, just giving us the thing. And now, you know, Mr. Graham, I talked to you last time about this, and now you got Mean Joe telling you there's a time where RC groups has to stop by. And after you see that video, my guess is you're saying, you know what? This it might be getting close. Uh, like we talked before, the best the best thing, I love the RC group name tags. I wanted to do it, and I ran out of time. Yeah. I got to do that. You know, my RC group name is Big Hank 13. Oh, now I know you. Right. You know, I, yes, I mean, there exactly. are so, like, I, I'll never forget meeting Joe Lewis for the first time after he handed over a GP35. I'm like, you're Joe Lewis? I had no idea. I've known you for years. I said, we, we bartered back and forth. I'm like, oh, my Lord, I had no idea. You know, That's and awesome. even Tim Jetski. I didn't know who Tim Jetski was. He's right. a guy who stopped by. We'd have some fun on, you know, when he stopped by. But that's what this is about. Heck yeah. That's what it's about at every one of these shows. It's all about the people. And, you know, and that's the other thing. This has given me an avenue to go out and to do other shows. Like, I never would ever go to a 3D event because I just want to, I, I can barely fly it. You know, I'm, I'm a great sport, you know, sport guy. 
But, you know, we got a guy, a young kid, who's a, he's a 3D pilot. And so we take him in the airplane and we have a reason to be there. You know, and it's just I, I love that. You know, Joe Nall, Joe Nall's on my calendar next year. We couldn't go this year because I lost too many sick days. But I want to go back to Joe Nall in this capacity because I think that's when you get to Joe Nall, you do some advertising. That's good stuff there. A lot of people there. Yep. Yes, sir. Well, man, we appreciate you coming on and talking to us. And, hey. and more so, we appreciate you putting on this great show now. Well, thanks, guys. I appreciate all of you and me and Joe. I'll be in contact with you for sure. I'll talk to you for sure, my friend. Yep. And uh, Mr. Graham, just let me know where you want your booth to be. I'll set that up for you. All right. I got some strings. All I can right. Pull. All right. All right. And guys, say hey to your feeling. wife. All right. Oh, I will. She's looking at me right now. So it's time to go. I got to go. <laughs> Take care, guys. Thanks, Hank. Yeah. yeah. Very awesome. Yes. Awesome. Good to see he you. Is, sure. He is really doing a great job with that show. I'm here to tell you, he's really doing good. Love it. I'm about to lose headphones here. Ruh, ruh. So I'm curious what that means to me. I, I'm going to proceed. I may wrap these around my head at some point. If, if uh, I stop hearing people. Oops, nope. we lost you. I think I oh, lost no. him right now. There you he can't is. hear me either. Now, we, can, now, now, you're now you're back. One, two. Hopefully. Yes. Okay. That's weird. Cause my mic is not, uh, my mic is hardwired. Uh, everyone, Mean Joe and I are going to hang out tomorrow. We're going to do a Mean Joe tip. We're going to talk about some gluing techniques, so be sure and check that out. Also, I'm wearing my Nash Bro shirt. Uh, I'm about to make a Nash Bro post. Nash Bro's hot and loaded and ready and insured for September, the last <laughs> weekend of September. And uh, I just got the paperwork in. And the, the thing this year is if you can fly off grass, we want you to come hang out with us. This is not just profiles. This is not just crazy people like in the old days. I've got news for you. We're all uh, in our 50s and everyone's very calm now. It's 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 not the old profile brotherhood that we used to know and love. Uh, we're, we're more like everyone else. Uh, it's sad but true. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. Now let's jump over to our window of information. The um, RC News, sponsored oh, by... Hey, I'm going to hit refresh. That was a crazy ad. Um, oh, Jason, I think what we'll do, we're cranking straight into 30 minutes here. Um, you know, I guess there really aren't any rules. One thing I want to talk about is Scale RC Engines. This is simply a, a user on the site uh, that has come up with some great uh, 3D prints and some other things. I don't even, even know how he makes his cockpit stuff. But uh, we were talking just two days ago, I think. And he said, I want to share this with everyone. This cockpit fits into the Trojan T28 from eFly. Yeah, buddy. And uh, I Get think you can buy this guy on the site, although it doesn't come with the setup. So you have to contact yeah. them and talk to them. But it's very cool. And, uh, of course, the link right here will take you there. I'm talking fast, everyone. Um, I'm also doing a high-tech uh, highlight with Gavin Woodruff. This is a high tech pilot and just sharing some information on him from the fine folks over at high tech, always uh, doing stuff. Jason, you've got a 3d print here. Yeah. It's just a new glider uh, available in Colts 3d, which is kind of a cool repository for uh, paid STL files for 3d prints. But um, you know, our 3d printed planes form section is big and growing. Um, so I put this there, um, but it's a new slope soar plane that just came out a couple days ago um that anybody could make at their house uh mean joe have you heard about my new youtube channel i have not it's where i film the sky and pretend like some plane is flying <laughs> <laughs> and i just stand there with the transmitter and then just move the camera around and, uh, um, oh no he's really there it is this, there it is this guy <laughs> hey that's not easy to do we all have had experience with that and those planes no, no. get small yes. real fast yes. well and i dealt with that just the other day I, well jim, I, hopefully... jim and i filmed on monday and uh you did quite well the footage looks awesome by the way i can't believe that i was really scared about the photos because that lens is new and i had to line up that middle dot and when the plane went by, I was like shooting, uh, you know, hunting. I was like, uh, bing, bing, bing. I got to tell you, there was almost no uh, out of focus pictures. I mean, there's a few. But they were mostly all in focus and awesome. So I was I was super pleased. We're going to have some great review photos when nice. the time comes to tell you what we're reviewing and to post it. Nice. Unbelievable. Um, I'm also, I'm just trying, before my headphones go out, I'm doing my little bits <laughs> here. Um, Esprit ZB, they have this new uh, release of the T-75. 
It is a heavy duty version of their T70 dual power redundant switch. So uh, something like this, if you know, you know, you need it. If you don't know what it is, you probably don't need it yet. But <laughs> yeah. uh, if, if you but do, you it, yeah, it's new and it's there. And there's uh, ZB always has great information over at Esprit. You can click that link right there and head over and check it out. What else? So the big news, I, I'm thinking now RC News. The big news was talking to uh, Hank from the Toledo Trade Show. Of course, uh, the UMX came out last week. How awesome is that screenshot? Yeah, super well, awesome. Pretty sweet. Um, I know I don't have it up yet. I know Hobby King has a big sale going right now. I just made banners for it, and uh, so that can be seen around the site. What the heck, Wednesday, Jason? A yeah, go uh, go watch that when you have a chance, folks. It's a it's a big giant scale FW one hundred and ninety. Awesome looking airplane, and. Uh, the discussion in the thread for the what the heck Wednesday is, is kind of like what you would have done in this situation. Basically the engine starts bogging and shuts out. He instantly lowers landing gear, you know, creating more drag. And then at the last kind of moment, he pulls the gear up and then smacks oh. into the Arbor Vitae trees. Let's do it again. And yeah. We'll hit freeze Bad right. day. That's a oh, nice spot. Ouch. Nice spot. <laughs> Ouch. I wonder how bad uh, it was. Torn up. So it's like, <laughs> if he had left the gear up, would he have actually had a better glide path and been able to miss the trees? Or could he turn sharper and miss, I, you know, a lot of discussions, but it's, it's fun to kind of theorize about what the best way to handle that would have been to prevent the crash. So oh. go post, go post right. your thoughts. You know, it's bad if you start throwing things on top of a golf cart. We've all well, <laughs> basically I've been there many times. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Jason and I were at a show once, and I'd seen this huge Cessna sitting on the grass. It was like a $24,000 airplane, giant scale. Never flew it, the guy, and I was like, I guess he's not going to fly it. And uh, Joe Nall was like over, and everybody was gone, and it went in the air. And I saw that guy walk away from the flight line while it was flying. <laughs> this was the size of a Volkswagen, man. Yeah. And, really. uh, oh. and that was you and me, right? We got in the golf cart and found it in a pond. Yep. Yep. On the other side of the trees. He just left. He was like, I lost it. And Go like on. he's had to go eat a hamburger or something. <laughs> and uh, I was like, I got to go find that airplane. I thought, do we get to keep it if we find it? <laughs> it was cool. We did I watched that happen one year with a, with a BVM jet when they first came out with the giant scale F-16. Uh, I was down on the electric line at the time. I was still flying with precision aerobatics and uh, a guy lost a, a BVM jet right, right in front of us. So we were clear down at the electric line and he's making his turn. I'm in the center of the electric line. You guys know how far that is. He's making his turn right in front of us for the main line. Wow. So he was yeah. way down there. And then wow. on his third pass, you start seeing this going on. I don't know if he was having receiver issues or nothing, but that thing hit the ground and spread out over like a football field, <laughs> flames and parts and stuff everywhere, yeah. literally right in front of us on the electric line. It's, it almost it had parts hit the tower. That's how far down it was. Wow. So, yeah, what, one, one golf cart's an okay crash when you have multiple golf carts picking up pieces yeah. for you. They had bags <laughs> for days. They had bags for days out there. It was crazy. Jason, I was at a, maybe a show and somebody, people will say you're into RC, right? And then they talk to me about RC stuff. Yeah. This guy said, I saw the most amazing video and it was the video we shot or you shot at uh, yes. Joe Nall. That's right. And I was like, hold on, tell me again. And, and, and we decided it was definitely the video. Yeah. It's coming up on a million views pretty sure, pretty soon here. Nice. So Jason shoots that video and somebody immediately says, Hey, will you text me that video? And I'm like, you don't send that video to anybody. That's like <laughs> gold, man. Yeah, it's going on the YouTube channel. Yeah, that was awesome. That was the one from Mainline uh, two years ago? A couple years ago, yeah. Yeah, I, I was standing right next to him when that happened. Yeah. <laughs> He'd been flirting with that all week. Yep. He had been, he admittedly really? said, oh, yeah. He had said, I've been flirting with this all week. And then when it went in, he was like, that's totally my fault. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, we're yeah, going to watch it because I know it'll be listed in the top. Oh, everyone, this is our YouTube channel. If you haven't, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Oh, yeah. Let's go to popular. There it is. There number it is. Uh, 800,000 views. Uh, Washington, D.C. or on the 
on the phone with DC all the time trying to do the best they can. Oh, and it, yeah. Washington, DC, or on the phone with DC at all. Just grab that pin. Palmer. Woo. You know, I've heard people say they don't explode and cause fires. Like I'm like, nope. It's like they, they always they explode. explode. Now it's a turbine yeah. jet for those who aren't familiar. It's not a electric plane or a gas plane. It's a turbine, you know, real jet engine. So that's why this happens. <laughs> it's yeah, and he was on a he was on a pretty full tank at that point. He'd only been up for a minute or two at the most. Yeah. Whew. It was, and it was also the demo, so everybody saw it. Yeah. My yeah <laughs> Everybody on the internet thinks this is a real jet. Everybody's like RIP to the pilot. Yeah, like, no, it's like pretty obvious, but uh, whatever. At PS, RIP to the pilot in that RC plane. That pilot was mangled, baby. <laughs> he was messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to need some work done. I yeah. thought, what could we salvage out of this? The team oh, wow. ran down in their golf cart, and I looked. There was not one single thing. I think <laughs> there weren't any. There weren't any pieces bigger than about that. It yeah. was. It was foobar. A little loss. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And but the cool thing is, I mean, I guess if there is a cool, there's a silver lining. It was the boss that did it. So oh, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. boss is the one that put it in. So what can yeah, you say? You know, <laughs> <laughs> nobody was getting fired over it. That's for sure. Well, he sure got some publicity out of it. He so. did. Yes, he did. Well, I want to thank Big Hank for coming out and spending time with us. You know, I knew it would be interesting to hear about the show afterwards, but I, he really, I, it was a compelling story of uh, how it went down and how it's yeah. grown and all that stuff. And um, His so passion is infectious. His passion for it is, like you said earlier, Jim, it's what this is all about. His passion for that event and this hobby is going to fuel that to where I personally believe it's going to go back to the days of old when it was – wall to wall to wall and you couldn't hardly yeah. move i think that's where he'll get it it looked it's pretty close yeah yep. he's definitely getting there with it for sure well me and joe i look forward to uh hanging out with you tomorrow we'll set up a time and make it happen i'm probably yes, gonna get this out today so i can stick it in the thread that i created for uh toledo and then jason has something to share for everyone at the moment when they say that we can share it it'll be ready to rock oh yeah I even got some stick time out there. I was very impressed with myself. Uh, we're doing some drone chase footage. And uh, I've done more research into that little Avada, by the way. There you go. All right. Just Let like, me know. Let me know. Brought it up to the wife and the daughter. They were like, oh, I think it would be awesome. And I'm like, really? How do you think we would use it? And then they're like, oh. Uh, that, they listed things that you would never want to take an Avada into. But <laughs> I, I think yeah. it's great that they think it's great. Hey, there you go. That's cool. It's in my cart. I haven't pushed the button yet, but it's in my cart. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, man, thank to you guys for taking time to hang out and talk, RC. Good stuff, yo. And thanks to everyone out there who hangs out with us. Uh, be sure and hit like and subscribe and uh, keep pushing these videos out. I want them to grow. I want a bigger footprint. I want to keep sharing the hobby. And uh, that's it. RCGroups.com, Flying Giants, Heli Freak, Mean Joe Vermillion, Jason Cole, Jim T. Graham. There's more and more things I could list off, but I'll stop at this moment. Bye, y'all. See ya.